Hey everyone, welcome to Aprons Off, the show where we stop cooking and just hang out right here at this table, sitting on this bench, just a, just a few friends having a good time. Today, we're gonna be answering all of your burning questions that have never been asked before. Ever in the history of ever, we asked you to ask us questions because we asked. Um, should we just <laughs> get into it? If it's burning, typically just like a prescription lotion does the trick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get nice into it. Nice one. Sorry about I don't that, think you folks. can apply lotion to questions. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna get right into the first one here. Right into the first one. Tiny comb. Alright, how good. Uh, okay, Joan asked <laughs> us, what's the highest number of third graders that you think you could fight at the same time and still win? Oh, that's a great question. I passed Nicole. Um, how old are third graders? Uh, eight? I believe ni- uh, eight to nine. Eight to nine? Really? Mm, okay. I think I could be three nine-year-olds. You think once they add a fourth nine-year-old in there, that one's just gonna take you down and no, topple you? No, because they can go on each other's shoulders. A very inefficient way to fight. Three's my limit for, for third graders, yeah. That makes me think of you differently as a team member and a coworker. <laughs> because if you Isn't don't think, Nicole, right? if you don't believe that you can take on at least like six third graders, and I don't know how I can no, trust you. No, at a time, at a time? Yeah. At a time? Okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> well, it's hard because third graders do come in all different shapes and sizes. I was I was probably 100, like 170, 180 pounds. If we're talking third grade Josh, like but maybe I, two. But I didn't, I didn't move well. I didn't move well, you know? So I would have been pretty immobile. Okay, think about average. Think about average, median. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think I have the reach on most third graders, you know? Yeah. I've got a lot of length. You just push them out of the I've way. got the speed. Um, I think that I could take at least like, I think I could take six. Six? I think I could take five or six. This is shocking. I don't know that there's an amount of third graders that could take me down. <laughs> you know the scene? You know the scene in I believe it's the Fellowship of the Ring where they show like, oh god, I don't know the names. The king, Sauron, maybe when I've he was king. I've never watched the Lord. And of he Lord. has this giant club, and he's just like going through armies of <laughs> yeah. men, just going, ball, ball, just Do smashing you have a them club aside. In this scenario? I would like to. I can make a club <laughs> if there's a tree nearby. Third graders are often found near trees. <laughs> we're talking parks. We're talking schoolyards. You take off a big club again. I don't want to hurt these third graders, but in this scenario, they're coming after me. Uh-huh. I I actually believe, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking like 20 to 25. If you have a choice of having a flail in this scenario, <laughs> then yes, I think that I could take a lot more, but Not I'm talking lethal. bare knuckle yeah, yeah, combat. Just, just, yeah. Okay, well still, I mean, I got pretty big <laughs> arms, and I mean, I think if I just really run through them, I mean, we're talking 20, 25. Dude, three of the third oh graders God. are gonna come for your legs, wrap you up, and you're toppled, and then you're done. Yeah. Bro, I I played running back. But you're I never toppled, running back, and then you're done. Okay, next question. Next, next question. Pete asked, what is the the weirdest music that you have ever heard a coworker play. The I don't know what mine is. <laughs> Lily, on her like second week here, played "Down by the Bay." Wait, <laughs> and it was like a weird Oaky Smoky song. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like it was like "Down by the Bay." And I'm like, why? Are we oh yeah, to this? that was the weirdest. That's um, weirder than any song that Josh yes, has played. Yes, ever. that was the weirdest because it was unexpected. I expect yeah. weird stuff from Josh all Thank the time. You. Lily, like with left field, just just like a and I'm like, what is going on? Am I on the water no, ride at that's Disneyland? True. Yeah, that's, it was that's weird. a good point. Me playing Finnish <laughs> troll metal is like pretty normal. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Fintroll. Corpaclani does great work too. Uh, I'd say there was a, t- a time when you were playing a song, and not to, to out anyone here, but it was a bit of a dirty song. It was by an artist named Cupcake. Oh. And mouth all wide I, open. M- mouth wide open, like I'm at the dentist. Was I the first one to play <laughs> that yes, in the kitchen? Yes, I believe you were. You were. Really? I'll say that I'm was weird sorry. For some reason. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry about that. Is the song called uh, Mouth Wide Open? It's called. No, I can't say the name of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> shouldn't okay. shouldn't say the name of the song. We cultivate a safe work environment. Yeah, you know, and, and Cupcake is a great artist. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Look, we've listened to WAP in the kitchen before. Yeah, because we believe you Not know. Anymore. Can't sing it out loud. No. <laughs> can't sing the song out no, loud. No, we just listen to it. You we, have to listen respectfully. It's yeah. art. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Um, okay, next question. Maggie asked, if movies were edible, which movie do you think would taste the best and how would you prepare it? The Smurfs movie. Oh, that'd be good. That's a good that'd one, good. that's a good one, huh? Yeah. Confit. Confit, um, Confit or, or kind of roasted over uh, over the churrasco. Oh. Ah. Ooh, yeah, we ate it. Oh. Hmm. We <laughs> bought a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> that's evil. You Matt Damon get, would taste evil. so good. Yeah, that's Matt evil. Damon, I'm saying, like, he, he seems huh. like he's a pretty healthy diet. You know, it's like a grass-fed cow. I feel like Matt yeah. Damon, I wouldn't want to eat, or anything with, with, are we just talking about which actor we'd like to no, eat? No, 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 like the movie experience as a whole, as a meal. Oh, okay, yeah, we bought a zoo. You get all the <laughs> okay. animals to choose from. I have mine. But yeah. 
Prometheus. Oh. You wanna know why? Because like the thought of like being in space on like another planet, like the mouth feels would be so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. Metal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Prometheus. Okay. This, this really, that's a, you know, a good smattering of movies. Yeah. I think we have a good taste Also, menu. yeah, all of them are really great movies too. Yeah, great. For great sure. Films. I still can't believe they brought that freaking zoo though. I mean, <laughs> I've never Not, seen no it. No spoilers, but <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it. They did, they, What's they that did movie that about? Too. I think about the Holocaust, right? What? <laughs> oh my god! Is it not? You always yell at me for making Holocaust jokes. No, no, no! I thought they bought a zoo during Next the Holocaust. Next question. No, it's yeah. Matt. Do you think Matt Damon would star in a? You think it was Sophie's Choice? They deleted the zoo scene in that. All right, next question. Christy asked, would you rather have ranch instead of <laughs> saliva or sweat jam? Oh, sweat jam. Sweat jam, sweat jam, sweat jam. Easy, sweat jam. that's an easy one. The taste of ranch in your mouth all the time? Hmm. No thanks. Wait, what but if I could go? What is sweat jam? So jam instead of like when you work out, like you sweat oh, jam. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you like, sweat jam. Like imagine <laughs> just taking a, a piece of bread and just going. <laughs> Yeah. I Sounds th great. I thought sweat jam was like a bodily secretion that like I didn't know jam. about. And it was like, would you rather have ranch as saliva or ranch as your sweat jam? <laughs> I was like, what? Like, is, I don't know what sweat jam my is. My sweat like jam, jam is what I call the music that I played during my, never mind. Um, so uh, I have a very specific, Jerry gets it. I have a very specific reason for sweating jam, right? Because as we all know, when you're ripping through Olympic lifts, right? Your hands get sweaty, the bar slips out, but you're sweating jam. It's gonna turn it into a nice sticky paste. It's yeah. also like mm. something called liquid chalk. Okay. You could use that. So I, I'm into the sweating jam. Question: What the about ants would be a problem when the sweat dribbles down your forehead into your eyeballs? You can't really blink that away. So what happens when your eyes are completely covered in? Wear jam? a visor when you work out. I don't need to see to hang snatch, Trevor. <laughs> okay, <you're laughs> yeah, right. you do. My fault. What if you hit a third grader? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I get a whole Olympic barbell, I'm just tornadoing that around. I'd like to go back to the third grade. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Well, are these, are these like the new third graders that are hop, all hopped up on Ritalin and Red Dye number 40? No, 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 the, no. Okay. That's like a performance enhancer. We can come back later. We can come yeah, back yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh asked, what root beer pairs best with steak? Mug. Barks. Barks. Oh! oh I'll switch A and W. Okay. No, two kids. I can't believe Is you guys. Is that your answer? Uh, dads. What? Next question. <laughs> Next question. Quinn asks, how much money would it take for you to go to a nice restaurant, order a steak well done, and smother it in ketchup? The entire steak must be consumed. None. I wouldn't Zero take dollars. any money. money. I would give you money, because if I have money, then I get soft. But if I'm giving you money, my biggest hater, then that's gonna motivate me. That's gonna make me grind even harder. I take my first thousand dollars, boom, buy an Arby's franchise with that, and suddenly, I'm buy an I'm 15... Arby's for a thousand No, I leverage it. Nicole, I leveraged that thousand dollars to buy an Arby's Have you ever, have you ever your, made money? <laughs> have what? you ever walked into an Arby's? You're I, overestimating the value of Arby's. One hundred dollars can grow me one hundred fifty carrots. I sell those carrots, plant more carrots, buy an Arby's franchise. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm I'm rolling it. All right. Next question. Uh, no, a well done steak's perfectly fine. Yeah, there. zero dollars. I would do it. Zero dollars. The yeah, ketchup, I, I would also do. Yeah. I juice my juice. We can we talk about juice for a second? We, Nicole brought up Sophie's Choice. <laughs> So I'd like to bring up juice. I did not. I grew up like not eating any rare meat until we'd eat well done me steaks. Me either, me either. Yeah, and if, yeah, yeah. You know. all the meat was well done. Uh, it has to do with soul, Judaism, it has to do with No, like, the soul preference. of the animal lives in the, uh, in the, the rareness of the what steak. What are you talking about? That's what about? I was raised. We didn't eat the Next. whole, the whole back half of the animal. Question please. I am sitting my white ass down and listening. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Michael asked, in a survival situation, out of the MK crew, who would take down a horse the fastest? Uh, uh, I think Josh has I something Josh, to say. Think, would you like to go? I think it would be Josh. Trevor. What? Who do you think it would be? Um, I think it's Josh. You could take, well, in a survival situation, I don't understand why the horse is attacking us. <laughs> I think that there are other- I think like you need no, the, the horse, horse for food. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. need the horse for yeah. food. And, and transport, like, yeah. yeah. You need to make the choice. Are you gonna um, kill your form of transport or are you gonna just keep foraging? If we're talking in a battle of pure strength, obviously it's Josh. Yeah. If we had time to prepare a strategy, I think that I could. Really? I think that I could. Faster than Lily? Yeah, you're talking about like preparation, about v? V could probably organizational structures, and you think you could like? Yeah, I feel well, like I feel like I'd actually take Lily in this. I think it's Josh v Lily, Trevor, me. <laughs> I have wrangled a horse before. Oh, that's cool. Have you wrangled a horse before? I grew up in Idaho, dude. I've oh, been on cool. I didn't want to stereotype I've been on Idaho. Form. Form. I've cool. ridden a horse. That's cool. That's I'm cool. sitting okay. my metropolitan ass down. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've touched a horse once. <laughs> All right. Cal asked, who's Tom? <laughs> who's Tom? Who's Jerry? And who's the buff bulldog in the backyard? I'm definitely Jerry. <laughs> I don't know enough. Which one's the you rat? You never watched Tom Jerry and Jerry is the up? mouse. I'm gonna cry so again. The rat. He's in. This Jerry. guy's never lived. <laughs> When he goes outside, he's a rat. When he comes inside, he's a mouse. No, he's a mouse, and he's a little rascal, and he's a silly little guy, and that's okay. why I think I'm him. Okay, You're then a who's, silly little who's a kitty cat? Tom. Who's Tom? Tom is the cat. A Tom. No, but who's who is Tom? Tom? <laughs> who's on first? <laughs> Nicole is the cat. Wait, are we talking to everyone in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because then there's only three. I feel bad. Yeah. Should we just do us three at the table? Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, then Nicole is Tom, and Josh is obviously the buff bulldog. Why am okay, I Tom? I, I F think Jerry, John... <laughs> I marry Tom, and I kill the buff bulldog. <laughs> All right, Beth asked, if you could wedgie any historical figure, who would it be? Hitler. And Hitler. 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 Oh, I give Hitler the I'm biggest top. wedgie. I'm Tom. Boom. <laughs> um, Mao Zedong. <laughs> <laughs> I like how for us, a wedgie is like the ultimate karma yeah. punishment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leopold um, II. Leopold II, I was gonna <laughs> say that! Oger of Congo, I'd wedgie the crap out of yeah, him. Yeah, that guy Stupid sucked. Belgian yeah. pants. Yeah. Dude. Go right up the crack. Be <laughs> asked, what is your favorite smell in the whole wide world, and what other oh. smell would make you puke if you smelt it again? Oh. I have my favorite smell. A oh, new baby. <laughs> What do you mean? And how fra how new is this baby? Like a month, like a week old. Okay. Where's the best place to smell a baby? Head. Just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I thought you were this. asking what location. <laughs> Arby's. Like, should I go to like a Target? <laughs> smell of a Find fresh. Find a mom in a Target. <laughs> smell of a fresh baby is the best smell. Oh. I do love my cat. The smell I bury my my nose like in his fur, and I smell my cat. I really love him because cats oh. are they're antimicrobial or whatever, right? So they're no, not smelly they're like gross. dogs. Arco gasoline. <laughs> Arco. It smells a little bit sweeter than Shell. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more musty than Chevron. Uh, there's a very specific fig perfume that I really like the smell Ooh. of. Is it by Le Lobo? It's bougie. No, it's, there's, there's this place in the Grove that sells it. It's like a fancy fragrance shop. Diptyque? In the Grove. Yes. Yeah, Diptyque. Yeah. I, I have that candle. Yeah. Delicious. It's delicious, right? It's my, it's it's my candle in my bathroom, and it's a beautiful candle. Very um, good. Sirster Ming would make me vomit. That, that's actually, that's oh. a thing that I did not have the stomach for, and I thought I would have the stomach, stomach for Sirster yeah. Ming, and I do not. Mm. Search for me is pretty Rough. bad. Uh, poop. <laughs> Poop's poop pretty is bad. bad. There is um, there, <laughs> old fryer oil. Like, oh. really, just gives me this mm. nasty feeling. I, it won't make me yeah. puke, but it is one of my least favorite smells yeah. to smell. Which is funny because I smell it all the time. All right, Kylie asked. This is less of a question, but more of a comment. Oh God! Pizza Sorry. goldfish <laughs> smell like fresh pencil shavings. Preferably Ticonderoga brand. Please test this and get back to me. Thank you. I love oh, you. What a Bring out the pizza goldfish. Look what we have. Oh my God, we get a snack. Frick yeah. That just brought me back to such a specific time and place in my life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like you gotta huff the bag. Yeah, you gotta huff the bag. Okay. How do I open this? <laughs> I poured some out because I wanted to eat them. Mm. No, I. <laughs> This smells very pencil shaving y already before I smell the pencil shavings. <laughs> kind of taste pencil shaving y. <laughs> no, you have too much fragrance on your hands. What? Wow, wait. These smell more like pencil shavings than pencil shavings smell like pencil shavings. They, could, they need to add pencil shaving <laughs> perfume from the Goldfish Flavor Blasted to the pencil sharpener to make you think more of pencils. <laughs> Truly, there, I don't. What is the must in this? No, it's what right. ingredient is causing that? It's not pizza must. Uh, it's got to be the enzyme modified Parmesan cheese. Mm. I was say thiamine mononitrate. Mm. Mm. That is an astute observation that will help nobody in life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Last question. <clears throat> Ryan asks, "What's your preferred way to handle long toenails? Clipping them." You, you clip nails. Get a pedicure. Clippers. Never, you know, I never clip my nails. <laughs> what? What do you do? I'm a picker. Uh, you clip your toenails? Yeah, I could, but then the problem is, here's the thing, because you need a long it? thumbnail yeah, to pick, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then I already I pick my thumbnails. Yeah, yeah. So if my toenails are too long, then I have to wait for my thumbnails to grow out longer, but then I forget, so sometimes you just end up, and then if your toenail gets too long and too sturdy, all that calcium and keratin builds up, you can't get it. So then you just gotta, you gotta really dig. Well, I used a paring knife once. Use a toe knife? Like, yeah. bro, if you're like using a paring knife, just get nail clippers. Okay, 
What I don't we have, have nail to, clippers. Okay, okay. I'm getting you nail clippers for your birthday. What we have to do is take. No, no, no. We need to get him a pedicure. I don't know if I like people touching That's my feet. That's disgusting. <laughs> you use a you use a toe knife. That is so like not Frank. Either. That is like so Frank from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, you mean like Danny DeVito, multimillionaire. <laughs> now Shame he understands you. the grind set. That is so vile. This um, is great. Nicole. Anyway, you get a pedicure. I clip. I have nail clippers. Um, and Josh, toe just knife. It's gross. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's the bell, thank God. <laughs> oh man, no wondering all why, of them. Why I have multiple paring knives in my house, it's not for different food related things. Every things. God so out there, sick. thank you for so just I ringing that bell. Okay, toe the, knife. The, all right. <laughs> don't need to talk about the toe the knife funny, anymore. The funny thing is, is now we're gonna answer one more question because <laughs> we're gonna give someone advice. Uh, Allison T says, I know none of y'all have kids yet, but how do I trick my children into eating food I've cooked that may contain things they dislike? A uh, lie. Yeah, lie to him. Oh, 30 seconds on the clock, no? Yeah, okay. 30, oh, you got Nicole. Oh, my, okay, me. So what I would do is uh, use your blender. Your blender is incredible. Um, I would just add all the things that they don't like and blend it and add some tomato uh, like puree and then a little bit of like, I don't know, cheese or cream and then make a hidden veggie tomato sauce and put it with pasta because all kids like pasta, right? Mm. That's my answer. Yeah, it's practical. Yeah. I'm, very, I'm, I'm a practical young woman, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say lie or threaten them with capital punishment. That's the one. Ooh. Yeah, corporal with corporal, capital. Corporal, corporal. Corpor corporal is like, uh, corporal. capital is like capital. the execution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, whoa! Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of thoughts about this. So um, I, I believe that when we were raised, especially as America in like a public school, right? As kids, all of the meats are fried and seasoned and processed and all the vegetables are very plain and boiled. So what I think you need to do when you're raising kids, you need to fry and process all your vegetables and plainly boil your meats. That way you'll trick your kids into craving vegetables and not craving meats. And you do not owe your children honesty. No, they are made in your image. You can tell them whatever you like, as long as it is in service of the greater good. Moral relativism is real. Hey Josh, huh? you said the same thing whenever someone said to cook for their husband. Did you know that? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, man. Josh has one opinion about food. <laughs> Just the one. Trickery. The snack that <laughs> smiles back. And that's all, folks. <laughs> a hot dog is a sandwich, or is it? Choose your side with the A Hot Dog is a Sandwich political tees and stickers available at mythical.com.